What's up y'all? It's your girl Amber the Baddie and welcome back to my channel. This channel is for my strippers, my baddies, my entrepreneurs who want to create their dream life, who want to make amazing things happen for them, to want to truly be happy and fulfilled and satisfied in every area of their life. So if that is your thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So in today's video, I want to talk about when to retire as a dancer? How do you exit the industry? How do you go from making so much money and having this kind of beautiful, free, abundant lifestyle to living a civilian lifestyle and leaving the industry? Now, many of you know that I recently have just kind of semi-retired from dancing. I am no longer considering dancing like my main source of income. If I do it, it's just on the side, but I'm not really dancing anymore. And that has brought up so much for me. I've been seeing so many of you feeling the same ways about being burnt out, kind of just ready to move on to something new. I'm gonna link this video up here where I'm actually talking about why I'm retiring. It's super emotional, I'm like crying my eyes out, but a lot of people shared that they resonated, which tells me that this video is going to be so helpful for you. So how do you retire? What are the steps? What else can you do to make similar or more money as you did being a stripper or just what do you do next? And I really just want to say it's so important to start thinking about your exit plan before you're burnt out because things take time and you, you want to give yourself that time. You are going to get burnt out and want to leave the industry eventually. For some girls, that's a year. For me, it was about six years. Others stay in it for 15, 20 years. But the thing is, I don't want you to get to a point where you feel stuck, where you're like, okay, I've been dancing for 10 years now. I didn't go to school. I don't have any other skills. I'm burnt out, but what do I do next? I don't want you to feel stuck. So that's why it's really important to start thinking about this as early in your career, even at the beginning, even if you're not even a dancer yet, to start planting those seeds about what you want to do next. And this is really such a beautiful time for you to explore that. What are your passions? What things light you up? What did you always dream of doing? Did you always want to have a business, be a designer, make music, do real estate? Like, what do you envision for yourself? What are your passions? What are things that are fun? that really elevate you and match your own personality. I know a lot of dancers are estheticians, they do hair or nails, a lot of them are in realty and gaming, like there's so, dancers just doing everything. So what is that for you? And like, what are your big picture goals? What is that future life that you're envisioning for yourself? Now, for me personally, I started dancing at 18 and my first year or so of dancing, I was just in the enjoyment stage, I'll call it. I was enjoying the money coming in, the freedom, like being able to spend whatever I want. I was just living in the present and it was great. But after about a year or so, that's when you start wanting to step into the exploration phase. And exploration means exploring what your passions are. For me at the time, that was traveling. So I was investing, as you can say, a lot of money into traveling and going to other countries. I was kind of like doing all these things that I wanted to do and giving myself time to figure out like, what do I really want? I didn't know yet and sometimes the only way to find out is to go explore the world, see other places, be in different cultures, see how other people live on the other side of the planet to kind of help you figure out who you are and that's what I did and such a beautiful phase of my life, really, really love that. After my traveling phase, I went into the education phase. So I started to kind of figure out what do I like? What are my interests? Do I want to learn about marketing, branding, business? That's kind of the route that I decided to take. And I invested the money that I was making as a stripper into coaching and to being, you know, working with investors, building my knowledge, buying courses, 
educating myself so that I could have the confidence to be an entrepreneur, to, you know, plant these seeds for what I wanted to do in my future. So get an education, whether that's a training program, whether that's, you know, going on a retreat, just investing money into yeah into learning and developing those skills that are going to help you on the next step of your journey and once again we have the opportunity to be our own sugar daddy and to be our own investor and to put money into our own projects so 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 many dancers that i know got in it because they don't want to work their stupid job they have a bigger dream they want to start a business they want to open something for themselves so use this money to invest in yourself put that money to work make your money make you even more money because we have access to a lot of it to getting it quickly to you know you can work every single day for a month and make 20k if you really wanted to that possibility is there. So really start thinking, okay, how can I put my money into what I really, really want to do? And for those of you who don't know, me and my husband own a food truck. I invested 100% into our food truck. And over the past eight months, we have made over $180,000. So I really put my money into a business that is making us even more money, even more income, doing what we love, living here in Hawaii and being our own boss. But I want to tell you guys the hard truth, okay? Because I hear a lot on Facebook or, you know, I hear a lot of dancers ask me, okay, well, like, what is another job that I can have where I can make as much money as dancing is easy? right because dancing is relatively easy you get paid the same night you work only a couple of hours and i really really want to tell you guys that i'm sorry but that's not really the reality of how pretty much any other job is going to be you probably are not right away going to start bankrolling like you have as a stripper and you need to get that out of your head or you are just going to keep yourself stuck you're going to stop yourself from going after your dreams or other projects because it's not going to make as much as stripper money. But like at the end of the day, do it. It's not going to be instant gratification. It's going to be hard fucking work. You're going to have to put so much more of yourself into it. But it's going to be so rewarding and fulfilling when you're doing something for yourself, you're working hard, you're using your mind, and you're really putting your vision to life. So don't let that discourage you. It might not be the same as stripper money, but if you're at a point where you're burnt out and you need a break, you're going to be so happy that you took the time to start something else that can be as rewarding for you. And I will say, even if you're feeling burnt out and you need a break, Never feel bad about taking a break. You can always get another job. You can always work at, who cares, fucking Starbucks, Forever 21, Red Lobster. Like, you can work anywhere if you need a little bit of a mental reset. Because I feel like also sometimes, like, we get very burnt out. We get conditioned where it's like a $500 night used to make you so happy. And now you're like, oh, I only made $500. And sometimes working a normal job kind of gives you that perspective shift you kind of feel grateful again for being a dancer you're working in a better energy you're like okay i'm ready to work again it doesn't feel like such a drag so never feel bad about changing course getting a normal job even if it pays way less just for your mental health dancing will always be there for you you can always go back to it never feel stuck because you are not stuck you are the creator of your life you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. So don't feel like you are stuck in this industry and it will always be here for you. But start planning for the future. Start thinking about what you want to do. If you are not sure, real shit, take a three month vacation, go to Bali, travel through Europe, go see the world, get out of America, get out of your normal habitat of what's around you and go be free enjoy this time enjoy the freedom and the money and being able to do what you want to do live your life go adventure and things will start to add up for you so let me know if these tips were helpful are you thinking about exiting the industry soon 
let me know in the comments let me know how long you've been dancing if you are and also if you have a business idea you know that you want to be an entrepreneur you want to start something i am offering free business coaching sessions so i'm going to have the link in my description where you can book a free 45 minute call with me we're going to talk about your business i'm going to give you some advice on what are the next steps that you should be taking right now and let's help make these dreams a reality I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.